What's up? What's up, everyone? Adrian Morrison here. I want to welcome you to the Profit Power Hour. Excited to be here. Um, we have a great training for you tonight uh, that I think you're going to absolutely love. It's kind of a continuation from, from last week. Uh, we're going to wait a second, let everybody uh, kind of pop in the room. Um, we're already almost through the first month of the year. So uh, this is this crazy. You know, when you start thinking about how fast time flies. And if you're doing Facebook marketing and you're running an e-commerce store, tonight's training is going to really help you level up. And it's something that I personally have been doing, um, but it's not something that I've openly taught a lot. And it's typically because I wanna show people how to get sales fast and this is a way that really is a long-term plan. This is like your longevity, stability, and security um, as you build your brand by building communities. So we're gonna get into that. I'm gonna get my webcam on in a second. It's telling me that my connection here is a little um, laggy. So I'm gonna wait a moment as everybody piles in. And um, while you're coming in the room, Again, this is Adrian Morrison. If this is your first time on the Profit Power Hour, I do this training every single week, a fresh, brand new training for you at 9 p.m. Eastern every Tuesday night. And I've never missed it. So when people ask me what makes my training and what makes my programs different from you know, everyone else out there, I always say, well, when you get in somebody else's program, do they show up every single week for five plus years straight and give you completely free group coaching and show you how to build, grow, and scale your business and evolve with e-commerce? Um, and I think that's the big, you know, that's the big difference right there. That's the definer um, of what I do. And it, it's important to get on these webinars because, you know, it motivates you it gives you inspiration and it pushes you to do what's already in your own best interest. And we give away cash money every night. So we're giving away a hundred bucks. If you don't have a Shopify store, um, go to shopify.com slash Adrian Morrison. That's my partner link with Shopify and you can start your free trial with Shopify. So that's always great. On the right hand side, you got my social media. Um, I've been posting content on YouTube that no one else sees, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, Twitter, I'm pretty active on there lately. I'm kind of interacting with, um, you know, the, the team at Shopify. Um, a lot of executives at Shopify are on Twitter, so we kind of retweet each other. Um, it's funny, Paris Hilton retweeted uh, something with me in it the other day from like a clubhouse room. So, it, you know, Twitter's uh, becoming interesting to me. Um, Instagram, and then obviously my Facebook page. And then of course, <laughs> no pun intended for tonight, but make sure you're in our Facebook group at facebook.com slash group slash profit ph. Um, and then on the left-hand side, we have some tools that uh, we recommend. I, I, honestly, I, I wouldn't dive in and just get a zillion of like all of the tools. I would get them one at a time and um, set set each one up. That could be you know two three days apart, a week apart. Um, but you know if you take things one step at a time and you fully focus and fully optimize each thing, you'll get more out of it instead of doing 10% of 10 different things. So this is our welcome screen that we show every single week. Um, and what I want to do real fast is I want to pull up our amazing. Uh, weekly notes here and I just want to tell everybody hop in the Facebook group right now at facebook.com slash group slash profit ph remind everybody come in the webinar right now let's fill this room up let's jam pack it because I am going to be showing you how to create and use and build niche Facebook groups to build a community build a brand and skyrocket sales um, and if you use this strategy, I'm telling you, you'll look back uh, six months from now, three months from now, a year from now, and you'll probably be like, this is one of the biggest moments and the biggest like key things that I learned to build my e-commerce brand. Um, I, I truly believe that. I think you're going to look back 
a couple of months and you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I got on that training. I'm so glad I learned this Facebook group strategy because it is going to open up so many different benefits to you that you've been leaving on the table. We're talking about money producing income, revenue generating benefits that you're leaving on the table. And hey, look, it's never too late to start, right? Facebook groups are getting bigger, they're getting better. Um, and Facebook is kind of going all in on groups um, the last like two years. They've put a lot into Facebook groups. So make sure that you go and you tell everybody to hop on this webinar and take up the last slots that are available. Um, I am going to try to get my webcam on and uh, just beware, I got out of the gym not long ago. And so I literally just threw a shirt on after I got out of the gym. Um, and uh, yeah, so I've been working out like twice a day, um, doing cardio, lifting weights and stuff. So just trying to get healthy. I've been doing that for a couple of months now. So let's see if I can get this, this camera uh, on here. So, all right, what's up everyone? How are you? Everybody could see me. Um, you could see my hair is like really, really messed up here. Um, but I'm excited to be here, even though I literally uh, just got finished working out not long ago, so I didn't have time to, to you know, prepare and get ready, look good. But that's okay, because these webinars right here are really designed um, for us just to hang out, for me to show you what's working in e-commerce and Facebook marketing and everything right now. And um, it's not really designed to be like some PowerPoint presentation. This is a, a chill space where we motivate, we learn, and we take action. So I'm going to move my, um, my webcam out of the way over here. So everybody make sure you go to the group um, and you tell everybody to join us, okay? And um, once you do that, you will see um, in the group we have 18,000 400 members right now check this out 18,400 members um, in the group so far and the great thing about this group this profit power hour group is it's not a free group like not just anybody can it can join this group y'all saw that last week we decline hundreds of people a week this is our community my students people that are all in people that are going through the training you got um, you know million dollar e-commerce um million dollar e-commerce success stories in here like dean levy uh posting and inspiring so it's it's amazing right um this community is it really is a different type of group and and that's why i'm excited to talk to you about facebook groups uh with e-commerce in general is because i've learned over the last couple of years how to build a really solid facebook group because there is a, a right way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it so you definitely want to do it the right way. You want to utilize all the tools and a Facebook group for your e-commerce brand could be a very, very, very powerful um, tool for you. As a matter of fact, you're going to have multiple Facebook groups. So, um, all right. Yeah, I am, I'm wearing my Shopify shirt today so everybody could see. I am wearing my Shopify swag. They sent this to me. It's kind of small, but um, I still rock it. All right. So, uh, what we're gonna do now is just real quick for the, the, the new students, I'm gonna show one last thing. Make sure that if you are a new student, you go into your accessadrian.com membership area. So if you're a student of mine, everybody has free access to this members area. Click on under my courses and software, the Profit Power Hour. And when you do that, you'll be able to access our um, replay area. And this is a, a members area where you can go and you can watch all of the replays all the way back to 2016. Um, I, I stick with my students. And now we have the 2021 trainings available in here. So um, you can go watch last week's training, which I, I highly recommend, and then the week before. And just make sure that you hover over my profile photo there and you hit the subscribe button so you can always be reminded when I drop new content on YouTube. Um, and this is a member, a free members area just for you. So make sure that you go in and make sure that you check it out, okay? So let's talk a little bit about groups and we're gonna look at how to make one. Why, we're gonna talk about why you wanna make a Facebook group. What are the pros? What are the cons uh, to this? How do you build your Facebook group? Why it's important for a Facebook, uh, you know, a Facebook marketer to do so. 
and uh, I'm going to get myself on a new page of notes right now, and we're going to talk about this. All right, so what we did last week is we talked about building a brand that can thrive from community, and really my inspiration for teaching you this, even though I myself have been doing it for a long time, came from my clubhouse meeting with the president of Shopify a couple of weeks ago, Harley Finkelstein, who is a genius. And one thing that he talked about was when you're building an e-commerce store, you really should be building a brand and a, and a sense of community and have a story and really, you know, um, cultivate your, and, and, it, and I guess you could say, you know, build a tribe uh, followers for your brand. And a lot of people that do drop shipping, they have a hard time doing that, right? Because if you're running a Shopify brand that sells like, you know, custom knives, or you're running a, one of his brand he mentioned makes these coffee and tea cups that are like really uh, special coffee and tea cups. And, and they, they're super unique. Uh, with drop shipping, the problem with most drop shippers is that we're just drop shipping stuff from AliExpress and, and we get unique when we start doing print on demand. And so um, I, I've discovered a way to really, you know, build a tribe while doing drop shipping with Facebook groups. And so we talked last week about building a community with uh, niche pages um, that lead to niche Facebook groups. And the great thing about these Facebook groups is, um, you know, it, it's like your, your customers and your group members will curate all of the content in the group for you. Like how often do you see me making posts in the Profit Power Hour? I, rarely, right? Maybe once or twice a week, I make posts in the Profit Power Hour group because I don't have to. All of y'all go in the Facebook group. Y'all create the content. Y'all interact with one another. Y'all ask questions. Y'all post screenshots, right? Y'all motivate each other. And then I come in, I manage the group and I make sure that everybody heads in the right direction. And, you know, I post things and updates in that group that are necessary for you to, to hear about and to know about. Does that make sense? Yes? Yes, yes, yes? Okay, cool. So in doing this, you build a community which builds your brand. Um, it grows your customer base. It creates free traffic for you. And um, in the future, you could even charge people for access to the group. And some of the things that we talked about with Harley were sharing your purpose and sharing your story. So in your Facebook groups, this is a great place to, to be able to do that. So for example, uh, one of my e-commerce brands in, in dropship stores um, sells, you know, mostly dog stuff. And so we have, uh, you know, Facebook group, we have Facebook fan pages, and we talk about giving back to animal shelters. So our purpose, right, is to create awesome products for dog lovers and to be able to help dog shelters. And also our purpose is to be able to support amazing artists that, that paint dogs. And so, because we do art licensing. So we're able to always tell people our story and our purpose. Um, and so that said, what I wanna do is I wanna take this a step further and I wanna talk to you about the strategy behind all of this, okay? So let's go ahead and let's put, uh, you know, uh, 2021 Ecom niche Facebook groups right here. And what we wanna do is I wanna break down the strategy for you um, and it'll be very easy for you to duplicate. You literally could do this tonight before you go to sleep. All right, sound good? Sound fair? I think you're gonna absolutely love this. All right, so that said, let me just get back up here and center this. All right, so I wanna make sure our notes are always nice. All right, we'll come back over here. Boom, boom, boom. All right, perfect. All right, so with e-commerce uh, niche Facebook groups, essentially, uh, what you want to do is you want to create a step one. Let's take this down a notch. All right, so uh, step number one is create a niche fan page. So step one, uh, create a niche fan page on Facebook, which you're probably already doing, right? And then what you want to do is step number two, you want to create a niche Facebook group. 
all right, that has to do with the niche of that fan page. And then step three, and we're gonna go over this, you want to link the group to your Facebook page, all right? And so when you're running your Facebook ads for products that you're selling and profiting, all right, you also get to, uh, you also get to build up your Facebook group as a byproduct of selling, um, you know, selling to customers in that niche. So what I mean by that is, um, what I mean by that is when you're running a Facebook ad, right, um, and you're sending people to your Shopify store, um, essentially, right, you're making money because you're generating sales. And you can create a massive Facebook group as a byproduct uh, of selling to your customers in that niche uh, completely free. So you can build your own Facebook group completely free. Does that make sense? All right. So all you have to do is these three steps and it will get natural organic growth. But what we want to do is we really want to supercharge the growth of our Facebook fan page. And we know that some of the benefits of having, all right, so benefits of niche groups. So we'll do benefits of niche uh, Facebook groups. So let's talk about some of these benefits real quick, all right? So what are some of the benefits of having a niche Facebook group? And when I say niche, some people pronounce it niche, and I actually myself go back and forth. Um, you know, some of the uh what I mean by niche is dog lovers, health, CrossFit, whatever it may be, gardening. Um, it could be make money online, right? You can make any type of Facebook group you want with a specific category or specific niche. So some of the benefits that we, uh, you know, we experience by having Facebook groups is this. Number one is we get uh, brand building, all right? So, uh, you know, we, we start building our brand because we're building a community, right? So when anytime you start building a community of customers, um, you start building your brand, right? Communities support brands. If you go take a look at any of the, the biggest brands out there, they all build a community. Uh, for example, um, I'll show you a great example, actually. So I made a new friend uh, a couple of months ago. Um, and his name is Sean T. So um, his name is Sean T. And he runs a fitness company. Um, you may have heard of him. His, uh, one of the things that is really epic about him is he uh, is famous for the Insanity workout. And he's, he's changed a lot of lives um, in, within the Insanity workout. But the thing is, is um, he sold a product. and by selling that product online, he was able to build a community. So let me show you uh, what Sean T did in the fitness niche. And uh, it's, it's really, really amazing. Now, obviously he's on television um, and you know, he's, he is a, you know, a master motivator. I mean, he's, he motivated me. He got me to, um, you know, he got me to come in and uh, start working out again, right? He's got 1.8 million followers. I don't think you're gonna get 1.8 million followers on your fan page, it's possible though. But he built this, he's always marketing from his fan page, right? Marketing his uh, fitness programs and whatever it may be. But you're gonna notice that, that Sean also came over here and created and linked some Facebook groups. All right, so some of the Facebook groups that Sean T uh, has created are his Dig Deeper Nation, uh, challenge which he invited me into not uh, long ago. I was on his podcast a week ago. I'll share that whenever it, it comes out. Um, mood for mood for food support community and uh, safe space. I think these two are, are fairly new. Uh, the dig deeper nation one is surrounded by doing challenges um, and obviously they he probably I just joined it but. He probably promotes different things within here that he might be selling or different workout programs. Um, it's a community. You're not just liking Sean T's fan page, you're actually a part of his community now. You see what I'm saying? So by being a part of this community here with 53,000 other people, I feel like I'm connected to Sean T. 
He's posting content in here. Other people are sharing their results in here. And I mean, if he dropped just a couple of pieces of like, you know, fitness apparel or fitness equipment in here, these people that are in this group are far, far, far more likely to make a purchase than the people that are fans of his fan page. Does that make sense? Because your Facebook group is gonna get more reach than a Facebook fan page post will. Because groups are super, super engaged people. So you build a group over time and you can share and you can post in this group, update your, uh, you know, update your customers. So let's talk a little bit about some more of these benefits, okay? So you could see uh, even big brands like Sean T do it, but they're doing it within fitness. So you could do the same thing, right? You can build a fitness uh, fan page, advertise fitness products from it, but also build a community that where people share fitness advice and health advice and workout tips. And it's like the customer curated content. So you build a community and anytime you build a community, your conversion rates, um, conversion rates increase drastically, okay? Why do your conversion rates increase? It's because your community, they will know you, all right? So they know you, they uh, like you, and because they're in your community, they trust you. So benefits of a Facebook group is you stay really connected with this community. And because of this, you also can get free traffic, okay? So you're able to generate free traffic. Now, um, one problem, all right, one fear that people tend to have. Uh, so fear, all right, about Facebook groups. So one of the big fears about Facebook groups that a lot of people, um, you know, are totally incorrect about is this. If I create a Facebook group that I manage, then all of my customers know who I am. All right, so who I am because groups are created by your profile page, all right? So this is one of the big fears that a lot of people have about building a Facebook group is, look, when you're running a drop shipping store, I get it. You don't want your customers to know who you are. You don't want them to know your personal business. And so when you create a Facebook group on, on Facebook, your, your actual personal profile manages it. But the fix for this, all right, the fix for this is going to be that you can link and interact as your Facebook page. So uh, the fix is going to be that you can link your niche Facebook pages and brand and interact plus post as the fan page, right? You advertise from. So that said, you're not really going in there and people don't know who you are in the Facebook group because your Facebook fan page can be a manager of the group. Uh, let me show you a quick little example of that. So um, over here, all right, so over here with uh, my Facebook group, okay, so let's come over here and look at our Profit Power Hour Facebook group. All right, can everybody see this? Yes, 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 okay. So if I click my image over here, you'll notice, see where it says interacting is Adrian Morrison is the far right. Does everybody see that? So if I click on this image, I can choose to interact as my fan page or my personal profile, right? So when you link your Facebook page uh, to a Facebook group, then you can interact as dog lovers rock. You could interact as, you know, uh, daily fitness tips or epic gadgets or, or whatever you want it to be you're able to post and interact as that fan page. And I'm gonna show you uh, more about how that is done in just a little bit, all right? So, but first let's continue to go over some of the really, really important pieces of, of the puzzle here, all right? So um, we've already hit, you wanna create your page, you wanna create a Facebook group, and then you wanna link your page together. Uh, a lot of people are already asking, do I create a brand Facebook page and Facebook group? I don't really think many people are gonna join a Facebook group about your brand, uh, but what they will do is they will do it about a cause or about a niche or a passion. So that is, once again, 
why we are using niche Facebook pages and creating niche Facebook groups. And something that you might want to add to this, all right, is um, so a profit point is do your research. All right, so you want to do your research, and I'm going to show you how that's done as well, okay? So we did a little bit of this last week, but um, if you come up here to uh, if you come up here to the search bar in the uh, all right, so if you come up here to our search bar at the top left of Facebook, does everybody see this uh, search bar at the top left? So if we come up here and we start doing searches, I could type in any niche that I want to here. So let's just say that we are in the um, gardening niche, okay? So I might type in gardening. And when I type in gardening and, and hit search, first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna show me groups, but I can come down here specifically to the left-hand side um, of this menu and I can say, show me all of the, the Facebook groups. And this is going to give us a really good idea of good content, um, good names, good um, positioning for a Facebook group, like Backyard Vegetable Gardening has 169,000 members. So when you think about gardening, you might not be thinking about vegetable gardening, right? But this is a great idea for a sub niche. Um, and you can go down home gardening, social group. So look at this, this had 510 posts today. It's a very active group. So a lot of times when you go to a group and you, uh, <clears throat> you click on the group, you're gonna see that it's private. So you can join the group. I recommend that you join a couple of groups in the niche that you're interested in. Um, and they just make their groups private because, well, I mean, they don't want a bunch of spammers coming in there. But this 130,000 members, they grew over 4,000 members last week, right? So they're growing rapidly. So this should show you right now how big groups can actually be. So all you have to do to do some research is just go up to the search bar at the top left of your Facebook account and search for different niches. And it'll give you an idea of uh, the types of groups that are available. And if you see groups that have a large, large, large following, that's a good indicator that you could probably build a pretty sizable community. Because remember, you're gonna build your group as a byproduct of advertising and making money. You're not building a group and then advertising the group and paying for traffic to try to build it. You are going to build your Facebook group as a byproduct, a bonus for making money, generating sales. And we're going to get into that. So um, you can do your research, okay? Now, some of the ways, uh, some of the things that you're going to do to generate sales for this, all right? So. longevity, stability, security with Facebook groups. Um, so some of the things that you're going to do to get people to join and monetize a Facebook group are going to be, get this back up here, lost my, lost my spot. All right, so now let's talk about monetizing your niche Facebook groups. All right, so how do you make money from these groups? Like we know that we can get people in our group um, to uh, you know make posts and all that stuff. And we're gonna go in and we're gonna create a group here uh, very shortly. And I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done. I like to inform you first, education first, and then examples second, okay? So monetizing your Facebook group. Um, so you can earn money daily from your community and supercharge group growth, right? Getting more members to your group uh, by incentivizing people with really cool promotions. Uh, so listen, if somebody's gonna join your group, there's gotta be something in it for them. Information, interacting with other people, um, what are the what is the real benefit? What's the trade-off of them joining your group? So some of the things that that we do uh, to incentivize sales is we tell people, all right, when you join our private 
all right, group, you get, all right, pay attention to this. So I tell people when they join our private group, they are going to get, we'll do this in say uh, green. And some of the things that we tell them they get are um, one, completely free items, just pay shipping. So we tell people we use free plus shipping, free plus shipping. We leverage the word free, just like we do with sales to get people to join the group. So we say, hey, we, we do free giveaways in this group every week, every month. We do free giveaways. All you have to do is just pay for shipping um, and you know, supplies is limited. So you have some urgency there. Um, and some of the things that you're going to also be able to give to people is uh, group only, all right, uh, massive discount codes. So you tell people by being in your group, they're going to get exclusive access to private discount codes that nobody else gets access to. So they're, they're, you're building your group as a byproduct at, from selling, right? You're running a Facebook ad, people see your Facebook page, they join your Facebook group, and they, they're they buyers. So when you tell them that they're going to get discounts on products they're interested in just for being a part of a free group that they benefit from, it's easier to get people to come in and make a purchase. Um, additionally, uh, what we do is we run our, uh, our VIP first dibs, uh, you know, our first dibs um, group promotions. So what our first dibs group promo is, is we tell people that before we launch anything to the public, before we launch a Facebook ad or we, we do a big email promotion or whatever it may be, um, what we'll do is we will actually create a category called first dibs. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. And we will do weekly launches of new products. So you can say, hey, uh, here's your Friday first dibs. All right, check out these two or three new hot items. By the way, here's your VIP discount. Or here's your Friday first dibs. Get this free, just pay shipping. It's gonna be retail when we launch it to the public. So again, you are keeping your group happy. And by keeping your group happy, by giving them first dibs, by giving them discount codes, again, you're building your brand, uh, you're, you're furthering that community, you're increasing conversion rates, you're getting people to know you, like you, trust you, you're generating free traffic. So um, all of these things, like, you know, you don't just build a group and leave it, right? Um, what you wanna do is you wanna come in here and do some really fun promotions. So you got your VIP first dibs group promotions, and then you also have um, your um, customer uh, contests, all right? So pictures. So it's like post a picture of uh, your dog. Cutest, uh, whoever posts a picture of their dog and gets the most likes gets a, a $100 gift card or a $25 gift card or whatever. So now what's happening is you're, you're essentially um, you know, ethically bribing your community to post content in the group in exchange for a free gift where only one person wins. So you could do, be like, post your, your coolest uh, everyday carry knife, post your picture of your, your dog, post a picture of yourself wearing uh, one of our products. And so you do these customer contests where you actually get customers to post images of things and that will uh, essentially make the Facebook algorithm see there's a lot of activity and show these posts to, to more people organically in the group. So these are some of the things that, that you wanna do. Now, I know that you're probably asking, okay, a couple of questions. Uh, so questions you have right now. All right, so these are the questions that I know that you're asking. All right, so number one is, How many groups can I have? All right, it's unlimited. All right. The second thing is, um, uh, the second thing that you're probably asking is, how do I create a Facebook group? Is it free? And the answer is yes, it is free. And the third thing that a lot of people are asking, aside from how do I create a group is, how do I moderate, or actually, how do I link my fan page to the group? Um, another question that people say is, ask is, how do I moderate the group? Because you don't want a group to get spammy and get out of hand because 
then people will leave the group because you got a bunch of idiots in there posting a bunch of crap and junk and advertising. So, so in moderation, you want to tell people no self-promotion, all right? Uh, no links leading outside of uh, this group, just like I do in my Profit Power Hour, right? And the last thing is, how do I grow uh, my niche Facebook groups? All right, so these are some of the questions I want to cover. And I'm assuming a lot of you have these very questions, yes? Right? So these are some of the questions that we're going to cover uh, right now. Uh, so how many groups can you have? We've covered that. How do you create a group? How do you link it to your page? How do you moderate and set up a group for success? And how do you grow your Facebook groups? Because a Facebook group is great and all, but if you don't have members in the group, then it's worthless. All right. So let's start with creating a Facebook group and then linking a Facebook group to your Facebook fan page. Then we'll go over moderating it, setting it up, and growing it. All right, sound good? Yes? All right, so let's do that over the next uh, 25 minutes or so. All right, so let's come over here to our Facebook page here, Dog Parents Rock, okay? This is a sample fan page. It's an ex I don't actually use this. I created this years ago as an example, but I still automate content in this group, apparently. Uh, I must have been testing one of my softwares. But anyways, uh, so here is a niche Facebook page. It's not Pitbull Parents. It's not, you know, Pomeranian Parents. It's Dog Parents Rock. I like, I, I like to cast a very wide net. And from this, you can create also different um you know niche related like sub niche groups like pitbull parents pomeranian parents so on and so forth uh but a lot of people really just like you know to have a dog parent um community so now in doing our research here though all right so questions dog owners ask if we come over to uh you know if we come over to google and we just google what are questions that dog owners ask? How much and how often uh, do, do, does my pet eat and go outside? How do you deal with good and bad behaviors? What is a, a, a what is the pet's behavior like on a walk? What are the favorite toys and games? What should you do in case of a medical emergency? And so think about this when you're you're creating your group. Your Facebook group isn't necessarily dog parents rock, right? there needs to be a benefit and a purpose to, to your group, right? So when somebody joins this group, you really kind of want your, um, you know, you want your, your members to come into this knowing that they're going to get value from this group. And so we all know that with pets, <clears throat> we all know that with pets, they're going to have, uh, you know, questions about dog behavior, dog training, um, and things like that. So what we want to do is we kind of want to highlight that when we create a Facebook group. Now, um, for gardening, right? So let's just say if you're doing gardening, so, um, you know, top gardening niches, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm taking a guess. Um, so if we were to type in uh, gardening niches or let's just say um, types of gardening, oh, let's see what happens here. All right, so um, you've got like demonstration gardens, fruit gardens, organic gardens, water gardens. So maybe if you're creating a group around gardening, selling uh, drop shipped gardening supplies, there's tons of t-shirts and quotes and apparel that you could sell uh, to gardeners and water bottles and whatnot. There's different types of gardens. And what we saw on Facebook earlier, we're doing our research, is that vegetable garden, right, uh, seemed to have the most people interested in it. So just again, do your research before you create a Facebook group because the more dialed in your Facebook group is to your audience, the more likely they are to uh, join that group. So if we come back over here to our fan page here, okay? So everybody knows how to create a Facebook fan page. That's that's nothing, like I shouldn't have to teach you that on this webinar. Um, it, we've been teaching that for six years. So when you create your niche Facebook fan page, and a lot of you already have niche Facebook fan pages, right? So this is just an add-on. You can go to any fan page you have or a new one that you create, and you come over here to where it says more 
um, and you can click on groups. So you see right here where it says groups, all right? And when you click on groups, it will tell you that you can either link a group or create a group. Now by linking a group, you're, you're linking an existing Facebook group that you may already own. If you don't already own a Facebook group, then you would hit create a linked group. And just to show you all again, you go to your fan page, right? You go to more and you go to groups, okay? And then you're gonna hit create a linked group. So let's go ahead and let's do that. Let's create a linked group. So when I click on create a linked group, it's gonna ask me to put in an, a group name and we're gonna call this like, um, uh, let's just call it like uh, dog owners unite, right? So dog owners unite, or you know what? If I wanna be really smart about this and not go off the cuff, let's go and do some research, okay? So I'm gonna just go ahead and type in dog owners over here and I'm gonna click on groups and y'all know I'm in the dog niche. Uh, all right, so look, new puppy and dog owners advice and support group, 48,000 members, okay? Um, you've got new puppy and dog owners tribe, dog owners of Instagram, uh, dog parents club, you've got uh, reactive dog support group. Then you start getting to some of the, the niche uh, specific uh, specific breeds. So you can see that Golden Retriever Club has 271,000. So this is an indicator to me that I might be creating a lot of Facebook groups, right, for different dog breeds. This isn't going to be the case with every niche, but with dog breeds, people are very passionate about their specific breed. Think about it. Out of all the breeds of dogs that they could choose to own, they choose a Doberman or a Pit Bull or a Pomeranian. But you also can have one like this, which is pretty epic new puppy and dog owners advice. And here's the great part about this, is you can create and link more than one fan page, more one than, sorry, more than one Facebook group uh, to your fan page. So your dog parents rock fan page could have a um, dog owners unite, um, or, you know, uh, new dog owners um, advice and support, right? So, uh, you know, you could even just say dog owners advice and support, right? Which isn't just necessarily directed to, to new dog owners. I've owned, uh, you know, I've, I've had my, my little guys uh, for six years, Maverick just turned six, and I'm still like researching different things because they do something weird or I feel a little bump on his leg or whatever, and I freak out. So dog owners advice and support uh, would be a great like uh, net, wide net to cast choose privacy. So we're gonna always make our group private because people always want what they don't have. So when you, you make your group private, it makes people want to join. It makes it feel exclusive, right? Um, if everybody can see it, what happens is if it's on public, they can see all the posts that are already in there, the promotions that are in there. There's no need for somebody to join a group if it's open and it's public, right? So you want to have your group on private. Now, the next step over here on the left-hand side is do you want your group to be visible or hidden? You always want it to be visible. The only time you wanna hide a group is if it's like a small mastermind and you don't want people to, a bunch of requests, right? So most people have visible groups. That way it's easy to, um, it's easy to get people in. Now, another really cool thing that you can do here is you can go ahead when you create a group and you're linking it to a page is you can invite some of your uh, fans to join the group. So it'll list your fans of your fan page and you legitimately can start sending invites to your fans on Facebook, inviting them to join the group. Does that make sense? So this way is a great way to jumpstart your group and get some members in it, all right? So once you do that, you wanna go ahead and you wanna hit create. So let's go ahead and let's hit create on this group. Okay, now our group is created. So once we create this group here, you're gonna notice that we can put a banner image up here. Uh, we have some tools on the left-hand side. We're able to make posts. And notice that I'm making posts as dog lovers rock and if i click over here 
Um, so if I click over here on the right hand side, you'll notice that I can interact as myself or at my fan page. So that way it's anonymous. Um, your dog parents rock as the admin. And so nobody else knows who you are. Now you can make posts, put videos in here, um, whatever you want to do, you can start creating content, but you don't really want to create the content. You want your members to create the content. All right. So let's go through some of these things that you might want to do. So number one is first things first, uh, you want to put a group banner because group banners are, are featured very much. So when people look to join your group, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit edit over here on the right hand side and we're going to upload, um, you know, we're going to upload a, uh, a photo here. So let's go ahead and let me just upload a, a picture. I already saved the photo um, earlier today as I was, as I was going over this. So let me just grab the picture um, that has like the little puppies on here. All right. So I can drag and drop that over. And so here are the same uh, the same image that's on my Facebook fan page, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit save. All right. So now after hitting save on this, we now have a nice little banner. Now all of a sudden our group looks legit. Dog owners advice and support. Um, we've got our our, our uh, banner here, um, which you can put text on it if you want. And another thing that I want to notate is now that we have created this group, right? Whenever somebody goes to our Facebook fan page, all right, so uh, whenever somebody comes over here to our Facebook fan page, let me just pull that up real fast. Okay, so now that somebody is over here at our Facebook fan page, if they click on, over here on groups, which you could feature this, by the way, um, you'll see that there is dog owners advice and support. We also could create more groups. We could create pit bull lovers, dog parents rock, uh, whatever we wanted to. So you can build up sub communities should you desi desire to do so. And this is featured front and center on your, your Facebook fan page. So as you're advertising from your Facebook page and you're running ads for dog collars or whatever product it is that you're selling, people will also see that you have a Facebook group and community that they can join and benefit from. And again, you would be making posts on your Facebook page telling people, hey, when you join our free community, you can get free items. When you join our free community, you get free discounts. When you join our free community, you get first dibs and promotions. We, we put on customer contests and you get solid advice on um, you know, training your dog and whatever it may be, right? The best toys for dogs, the safest toys for dogs, the best treats and healthiest food for dogs whatever your niche is surrounded by. Does that make sense? So it's really that simple, uh, but there are some things that you're going to wanna do whenever you create this Facebook page. So let's start looking over here at the left-hand side at our administrative tools. So you've got membership requests on the left, so let's click on that. And right now we have no requests, but when you have somebody request to become a member, you will see their profile, and you can choose to delete, to decline, block, or accept them. The reason that you might wanna do that is because a lot of spammers try to join Facebook groups and come in and, and promote stuff to your audience. And one great way around that is uh, right here, if you scroll down to the left, you can create membership questions. And membership questions will allow you to add questions uh, that people have to answer. So. Um, are you a dog owner? Question mark. All right. And then you could put multiple choice here um, and you could say uh, yes and you could say no. If somebody's not a dog owner, then you, you probably uh, don't want them in your group, right? Um, I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. All right. So you can add another question, right? So we can create another question is uh, what breed is your dog? All right. And then you can essentially here give them free reign to write an answer. So we can hit save and now they can tell us what breed their dog is. Also great information for us to know. And the last question I would put in is, um, do you agree to the group rules and no self-promotion? You must agree to this or you will be removed from the group. 
All right, so what we'll do here is um, let's put a, a check mark. And if they don't agree, <laughs> you know, then you just don't let them in. And so now whenever somebody comes to, to join your group, um, here's what's gonna happen. Most of the fake spammer profiles, they're not gonna answer any of these questions. They'll, they'll join, the, they'll request to join, but decline to answer. So if people decline to answer the questions, then you know that they're probably not someone you want in your group. If they answer the questions, then you know that they're a real person, not a spam bot, and they're probably legit, right? And so um, you're able to then come look at membership requests and read under each membership request the answer to these three questions. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. Now the very next thing that you're gonna wanna do over here is come over here and to where it says group rules at the bottom left. And when you click on group rules, you're gonna hit get started with group rules. And this is gonna be uh, you know, the rules that kind of define what people can and cannot do in your group. So, you know, we wanna say, you know, let's add this rule here. Um, let's say that we wanna add no hate speech or bullying in here. All right, so these are some of the rules, no promotions and spam. All right, and uh, respect everyone's privacy. All right, so these are some of our rules. Now, if we want to add more rules, then we can put in our own, right? Um, you can write your own rules. But typically, we just tell people, hey, be kind, no hate speech, no promotions and spam. Um, if you self-promote or put a link in here, uh, then you're out and you can, you know, you can go in and you can delete people. All right, so also people can report content to your group. So if somebody's post breaking the rules, oftentimes the members will flag that post and notify you so you can delete it and ban them from uh, the group. Now, the next thing you can set up is post topics. So this is a newer feature to Facebook. Um, you know, it's not something I've used a ton of, but post topics could be um, healthy, uh, dog foods, all right, could be a topic. So you might say uh, healthy dog foods, all right? Um, and then you can create another topic and this might be, um, you know, uh, safe dog toys, all right? Um, and then another category could be uh, funny um, dog parent uh, moments. Right, so now you're you're engaging your community not only to talk about safety of a dog, but engage in of, uh, talking about funny moments or posting a quick video or image of something silly that their their dog did. Um, and then you could do like your uh, you know uh, first uh, first dibs uh, first dibs uh, Friday Fridays. All right, so first dibs Friday could be a category. So this would be how you set up promotions, right? So when you post a, a, a something on Friday, it's like a new product. It's the, under the first dibs Friday promotion, right? Um, it could be our uh, VIP uh, community uh, discounts, all right? So VIP, let's just say VIP discount. This could be a category. And so you can start making posts underneath these categories. And now when people come into your Facebook group, they can search, I wanna look at everything under funny dog parent moments, everything under dog toys, everything under healthy foods. But mind you, when, you're, when people are searching safe dog toys in this category, you could be posting different items that you're selling that are dog toys that are safe, right? Um, if they're looking for discounts, then you're, you're able to put in different discount codes. First Dibs Fridays, um, which would be like, you know, new product launches that you launch each week. So you can have people trained every Friday, you're launching a new product um, and they can get first dibs and a discount on it before it potentially sells out, right? Uh, you don't have to do that, but you can do that. So these are some of the things that you, you, wanna, you wanna do. And the great thing about First Dibs Friday is you can come right on over here to schedule posts on the left-hand side and you can create a scheduled post and uh, you know you can go ahead and you can um, you can create this post here and you can have it scheduled to go out at any time and any day you want. So you could literally schedule eight weeks of First Dibs Friday promotions in your group every Friday at uh, you know 12 o'clock p.m. 
you could have first dibs Friday and have a product release pre-scheduled. So you're able to go in here and pre-schedule um, any and all of these posts. All right, some other things that you're gonna wanna keep your eye on are uh, group quality. All right, so Facebook will let you know what the quality of your group is. Um, and if, you know, if you've been breaking any rules, which typically doesn't happen, um, you can add additional moderators to the group. So you can add moderators uh, that you trust in the group that can help you manage the group like I've done in my Profit Power Hour group. Um, and then once you get to a certain point and you get, I think it's like 50 plus members or so, um, they're going to open up for you a new tab that is called, uh, a new tab that is called Insights. And so Insights are amazing because um, it, it gives you insights, and I'm gonna have to go into the Profit Power Hour group uh, to show you this, but once you get about 50 plus members in your group, you'll see insights on growth, engagement, uh, administrators, memberships, and different units that you've launched. So I could hit growth, and we can see what the growth is of the group and how many new members we've generated in the last 28 days or seven days. Uh, we can see how many members are active in posting. So these are members that are actually active in the group. Uh, we can see how many people we've approved versus how many people we've declined. Uh, we can look at engagement. We can see, you know, engagement rates um, on, under posts, comments, and reactions. Um, what our most popular days are. What are our most popular times? This is important data because if you are releasing a First Dibs Friday promotion or a discount promotion, you would want to do this probably on Wednesday. And you'd probably want to do it around 7 p.m. because it's telling me that a Wednesday is my most popular day in the group. And 7 p.m. seems to be one of the most active times in my group. Whereas if I did it at 6 a.m., it's one of the least active times in my group. Or 3 p.m. is the absolute least active time in the group. So this is going to give you insight on should it be first of Wednesdays? Should it be, you know, whatever, whatever you want it to be. Um, and then you'll also be able to see what your biggest and most active posts are. Um, and you'll also be able to, uh, you know, manage your members and see who your top contributors are. So like we got Dean as a top contributor, Carol, Sandy, Linda. So you, you can reward your top contributors. Now you can do a top contributor contest, which I did last year. I said, hey, each week our top contributor is going to win the, the cash giveaway. So in your e-commerce group, you could say, hey, the top contributor of the week gets a free gift card or gets a completely free product uh, from our e-commerce store. And so people will compete to post and put information and curate content for you to be a top contributor. Um, also, people get badges, which we'll go over in just a moment. So you notice there's not really a lot of setup. It's just understanding what's here um, and available to us. So on the left hand side, on the left hand side, if we go to settings, all right, so let's come back over here to our, our dog parents, uh, our dog advice group. If we go over to settings, all right, we can put a name and description of our group. So this gives us a little bit more information for people that are looking to join our group. So, um, you know, so uh, apply to join our uh, free VIP uh, community of amazing uh, dog owners to get um, advice and support on dog training, dog, uh, you know, healthy living, fun activities, um, and, uh, you know, uh, discounts, and you could say, um, and discounts on amazing dog uh, toys, our dog items, accessories, and even some apparel and goodies for the epic dog parents, all right? And so now when people look at joining our group, it's gonna give them a little description of what they're gonna get inside the group. Um, secondly, what we can do is we can customize our web address for our group, which I highly recommend. So if you click on the web address, all right, um, it tells you you won't be able to customize your address again after you gain 5,000 members. So just be sure that you choose the name that you wanna choose. So, you know, um, dog, this would be like, um, you know, dog parents uh, support group, all right? So this would be my Facebook URL, dog parents support group. 
and hit save. And now I have dog parent support group. So now I can link this right here and I can uh, tell people to join. And we're gonna use that um, you know, shortly. Uh, we can choose the, the group color. So this is really how people can identify your group. So we could choose like sky blue. And when I choose sky blue, what's gonna happen here is when we go back out and we look at our group, we're gonna notice that there are blue accents um, to the group. So you can really kind of customize the theme and the color of your groups so people know that when they're on it. So like, for example, my Profit Power Hour group, the theme is green. So most of the buttons and banners and stuff um, are gonna be green. Okay, uh, moving along here because that's not like that important, but you do wanna customize it um, for sure. Badges. People can get different badges, right? New members, rising stars. You can start giving people um, specific, you know, uh, discounts and awards and rewards uh, for obtaining a rising star or storyteller or conversation starter badge, right? So people will compete to get these badges. Um, your group type. So you can come over here and you might want to say that this group type is you know, um, well, I would just leave it under general, honestly, for this particular one. Um, who can join the group? Only profiles who can approve the request, just you. You can add moderators later. Um, and then you can add in other fan pages that you might want to link to this group. And now what we have here is a solid, fully done Facebook group. All we have to do now is start getting members in our Facebook group. It's tweaked out, it's ready to go. Uh, we have categories ready to, to rock in here that people can search and people can enjoy. And as you start getting members in this group, you're gonna start seeing that the group will come to life and it will take on a life of its own and you will not really have to do very much. All right, so you would do this for each Facebook fan page. Now, we're at an hour in. And what I want to do is since we have gone through and we have we designed the group today is uh, next week, what I want to do is I want to go over these other two questions. How do I moderate a group? All right. So what are the do's and don'ts to being a group moderator and how do you grow your groups? So this one right here next Tuesday is going to be a very, very key thing because I am going to show you five different ways, five different ways to grow your Facebook group without spending money on ads specifically to get Facebook group members. Does that make sense? Yes. So for now, what I want you to do, your homework should be go create Facebook groups, link the Facebook groups to your Facebook fan page. You'll see you'll start getting member requests probably within 24 hours um, if you're doing ads. Create the groups. Get a nice little banner up there. You can get banners from Shutterstock.com, um, whatever, wherever you want to go to get royalty-free photos, um, and just make sure that you have that foundation set and understand that you're going to be able to do uh, shipping promotions, discount promotions, first dibs promotion, customer contact contest, and you build a community and a brand and longevity and stability as a byproduct of just making money with drop shipping. And this is gonna be huge in 2021. And again, next week, I'm gonna show you the top five ways and growth hacks, if you will, to grow your Facebook group. So let's just put that down here. So um, I just wanna, I wanna make it known that next week, all right, so uh, the top five growth hacks for exploding your niche Facebook group with high value members that want to buy and post, all right? So next week, this is what we are going to go over is my top five growth hacks. Now, um, just so you know, like I actually do this, um, Facebook actually invited me to their group called Facebook Power Admins of North America. It's only 17,000 people in the entire North America, um, like they, you know, they have North America, they're gonna have other different divisions or whatever, but only 17,000 people in North America that they consider power admin. And this is a group created by Facebook. Um, and, and you can see that 
this group is the mission is to power admin group admins um, and, and community leaders that have cultivated the top communities. So I am an invited member by Facebook for to the Facebook power admins of North America community. You cannot request to be in this and just get approved. Um, the, this is for people that are managing all sorts of different um, communities. And so I'm on the cutting edge. And, and you can see here, it says our community is invite only for active admins of diverse and engaged groups. So I'm on the cutting edge. I'm on the inside of this group here. I know what's happening. I can see around the corner of what's coming to Facebook groups. There's actual Facebook employees in here posting all the new things and all the new ways to monetize, grow, moderate, and create epic Facebook groups. And so just understand that when you're learning this strategy from me, you're learning it from someone dubbed as a power admin by Facebook that manages large Facebook communities. So I'm not just like pulling this stuff out of nowhere. This is stuff that I've done and that I currently do. And I have an end to Facebook on all things Facebook groups. So I can give you that edge that other people don't have because I have this content and this information that's private in here. Um, and you know, oftentimes I post some really important things that I would have never known, right? Or new features that I would have never discovered. So we're gonna talk about that next week. Maybe I'll end up seeing you in that group as you grow your communities. And remember, next week we're going over the top five growth hacks for exploding your Facebook group. For tonight, your homework, just simply go create Facebook groups for your niche pages, link them to your Facebook fan page, and then we will get started next week growing these groups and generating sales and customers and content and building a community with purpose. And uh, you'll find that you have a Facebook fan page, an Instagram page, and Facebook communities, and an email list built up. You see what I'm saying? Your brand or your Shopify store generates sales, but while you're generating sales, you build up valuable assets, email lists, a Facebook group, an Instagram following, a Facebook fan page following, and so on and so forth. So that's it for tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you all. Um, I hope that you're having a great start to 2021. I know it's uh, still kind of crazy out here in the world, but I'm here for you every week to teach you, to motivate you, um, to show you how to absolutely crush it in e-commerce and do it the right way with drop shipping and building your own brand and communities. Um, and all you have to do is show up. It's completely free. So what we're going to do now is if you jump over uh, to my Facebook fan page, all right, so the, my Facebook fan page is at, uh, it's right here at the tip top, facebook.com slash Adrian Morrison official. Go ahead, go there. Um, and in about uh, five minutes or so, I'm going to go live and we're going to give away some cash money. So I'm very excited about that. Um, and again, be here next week, same place, same time, 9 p.m. EST, every single Tuesday for the Profit Power Hour for motivation, support, free training, free coaching, no sales pitches, meat and potatoes. This webinar series has helped create million dollar student success stories and beyond. So be here and invest the time in yourself and your education if you truly want to change and grow your business in 2021. You cannot afford to miss any of these webinars. Make it a routine for yourself. and. Challenge yourself to always show up, even if some of the content that I talk about, you might already know in some cases. It's great refreshers and great routine. We have veterans for six years that have been getting on this webinar series and still hit me up and say they're learning new stuff. So be here next Tuesday. We're gonna go over the top five growth hacks you can use to grow your Facebook, fam, uh, your Facebook communities and groups um, completely free without spending marketing dollars on specific growth for the group and um, I will give away a hundred bucks on our Facebook Live. So love you all, wish you all a ton of success. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay positive and I'll see you next week or in five minutes live on my fan page for the giveaway. Good night y'all.